everyone. Welcome to just a, a brief recording on the Gemini new moon, which is exact on May 30th. I wanted to give you a quick snapshot. The full details are in the podcast. Which I'll put in the link below, but, but briefly to look at the, the energies of this new moon. This new moon is really potent. It's the close. It's the official end of the eclipse season. So most of May was steeped in the energy of eclipse season. The universal number for May is 11. 11 is a master number. It's, a, it's, a, it's almost a number of death and rebirth, of realizations and letting go. And, and eclipse are portals. Eclipses are those irreversible realizations that our soul knows we want to we wanna know. And as we head into the month of June, this new moon is right on the heels of the month of June, we're going to feel some joy, some, some, some just deep ability to want to communicate our truths and some energy to just motivate us to do that. So there's some interesting numbers that are taking place this month, uh, namely the numbers three, six, and nine. And I share in the podcast a quote by Nikola Tesla, if you knew the power of the numbers three, six, and nine, you'd have the keys to the universe. So this new moon is actually at nine degrees and three minutes of Gemini part of those 369 magical numbers. And uh, it's also influenced by an event that happens on uh, the 3rd of June, which is 6-3. On the 3rd of June, right after the heels of this new moon, this new moon takes place in Gemini, the sign of the twins, the sign of communication. I, I talk in the podcast about how we're going to be supported and remembering our soul's truth and to communicate it. On 6-3, we have Mercury going direct. Mercury rules Gemini. So this is also about our soul's communication. Mercury is in Taurus. Uh, Taurus is ruled by Venus. And Venus is, is at home in Taurus. And Taurus is at home in Venus. And this is going to be really um, supporting us and seeing the beauty of our own expression. And there's so many more astrological aspects. But what I, what I, I guide us through in the podcast is there is a, a meditation to remember who, when we first came into this body in this lifetime, what that beautiful little bright star of a soul knew was our truth. And this new moon is going to support us in communicating, communicating, communicating that. Communication, as I mentioned, is both the speaking of the words as we traditionally think about it, but it's also everything we vibrate about, everything we, we dream about, everything we think about, everything we do, everything we don't do is something that we're communicating. And the other quote that came through uh, when I was downloading the podcast is such a beautiful quote for these times, be who you are say what you feel those who mind don't matter those who matter don't mind so be willing to release anybody who doesn't see what when you commit your communicate your soul's truth that it's going to feel expansive the gift of being brave and communicating what your soul's truth is is that everybody around you actually needs you to do that and they're going to joyfully respond if they are truly meant to be on your soul's path all right, this is super exciting times. The energy of spring is in the air. I mentioned a goddess Cordelia, uh, a British goddess that is of the spring that's also here to support us in remembering this, this iner inherently joyful, magical nature of who we really are. Bright blessings, and I look forward to sharing the podcast with you.